Oh, yeah. Listen, hold up. Yo, Cass, I have my foot on your neck, beloved. I was <laughs> here. I have my foot on your neck. Yo, now, listen. I apologize. I don't know what was going on, man. We had to get it right, but I'm here, bro. Yeah, you in the Matrix right now. And listen, as you see your following, they like, nah, man, we ain't going nowhere. For sure. I appreciate that. Everybody tap in. I appreciate y'all, for real. Yo, Cass, listen, man, before we get into it, I want to first and foremost, first and foremost man, applaud you for longevity. Appreciate you, man. Thanks a lot, man. Longevity in this game at this current moment is a process, man. You dig what I'm saying? It's such a process. It so, and it ain't easy. Definitely isn't, man. Definitely isn't. So, before we jump into it, right? You put out three projects in a matter of six months. For sure. Tell me Let the strategy behind that. Um, I'm just focused again, man. I got back into the battle rap. Um started trying to age backwards and get young again. <laughs> the reason why a lot of dudes get old and you lose interest in them is because they lose interest in the business. Mm. They realize how shiesty it is. They realize how much they've been getting robbed, how fake the people is that's in the business. So they get discouraged. And right. they don't want to listen to music as much. They don't want to put it as much time as getting nice as they used to when they was kids. So in order to have a long run and still stay hungry like you was when you was young, it's right. like a So that's why I wanted to get back in the ring, get hungry again, because I'm super competitive and I, I want to rap to be the best. Mm -hmm. so Encourage me to get back on my job. And once I started doing that, um, I started feeling young again. Stuff started coming to me like never before. And I was just recording a whole bunch of music. And I know with this technology at this time we at, um, it's better to just be consistent, just constantly keep feeding the music. And I know if I'm capable of doing it, why not? Right. So that's the reason why I just dropped them, them three projects back to back. I wanted to break a record too. Like all of the MCs that I look up to, you know what I mean? They did a lot of dope stuff in the past, but I can't remember none of the MCs that I really, you know what I mean? Was inspired by dropping that many projects in that short right. period of time. I remember when DMX dropped two two albums in one year and the whole game was going so crazy how his albums charted and was so good and he did two in one year. So for me to do three in less than six months Woo! goes to show people that, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> bars is back. Bars is back. So listen, Cass, that was well put. Now, I want to say this, Cassie. You know, you spoke about battle rap and I'm not going to go there, but how hard is it, right? to cut one off and cut the other on. You dig what I'm saying? Um, um, it's not it's not that difficult if you constantly work in that booth. Like um, for a minute, um, well, in the beginning of my career, I was only focused on battle rap. Right. I wasn't really focused on music too much. So it was kind of difficult to make the transition from battle rap to doing music if all you focusing on is battle rap. You got to start learning. You got to start locking in. You got to start trying stuff, making adjustments with making music. So right. if you focus on battle rap, it's going to be impossible for you to do that. Then when I got in the business and um, I started to get a name, budgets opened up and a little bit of success, I stopped focusing on battle rap. Mm -hmm. Started strictly on music. Right. So um, I took like 15 years off from battle rap. So... Um, me getting back into battle rap is not like um, I could just snap my finger and just turn it right on because I was just making music for 15 years straight. Right. So to get back into that zone, even to get that attitude and that hunger again, um, it takes certain adjustments. Right. But Clearly. I, I had a few battle um, battle raps in the last couple of years that like brush off the cobwebs and learn what I want to do in this new time period, know what adjustments I want to make. So um, I got some experience with this new way of battle rapping now. And I'm always constantly making music. So right. now on both um, 
all of the time. I can just switch it on and off at any given time. I could do both consistently. Which is a process. Now, you know, as stated, we're definitely going to get into the Wiseman, right? But here's the, here's, here's what, and I love that, and I love the response, right? But here's the thing, Cash, right? You know, the, the importance of team, the importance of team, right, is for me, I'm going to keep it on the eye, and I want to present it to you, is very important because, of course, you have, to, you have to learn to stay in your lane. For sure. Segwaying back into battle rap, did you take it upon yourself to say, I'm going to do this, or did you speak to your team before you made that move? Nah, um, I never, like, retired from battle rap. I just know that I put in so much work and um, took it to such a level that I wasn't going to come back until I got a certain bag. Right. So I told everybody I wasn't going to come back to battle rap until I got a certain a certain number. And um, it just took years for these leagues to develop, grow, to be able to generate enough money to be able to pay me. So once they got enough money up and they offered it to me, I was ready. Right. But if it did that, um, the next day after I stopped, I would have been ready. Or the next week, the next month, the next year. I wouldn't have took 15 years off if they would have brought to the table what I was asking for earlier. Right. That's what I was expecting them to do. But, um, I mean, I just it just took them time. So when they offered me the money I was looking for, that's when I decided to come back. Great. With that being said, man, we're going to get into the wise man, right? Now, now I need you to walk with me, Cass. I really need you to walk with me, man, because once again, I'm going to try to incorporate a few songs from – each one of those, the, the last projects, man, because they both have great sounds, but I like the fact that you play with the sounds as well. You dig what I'm saying? For sure. Like, one project, you put 17 joints on there, B. Yes, sir. That's the formula. 17. Huh? That's the formula. That's like uh, what if I was like with a major on a major label, that's right. more of the album that I would have dropped. Um. It's diverse. It's a lot of party records, a lot of club records, a lot of records for the girls, a lot of records that's easy to push. It's not hard to work them records on a formula. So right. if I was a machine, that's the type of project that I would have came with. But right. I want to show people that it's all different type of fans and I do all different type of music. So the science, the first project I dropped was more like um, gutter, mixtape style, frown your face up the whole time. It's like, it was... um you know, different beats per minute. The beats ain't all sound the same, but the feeling of the songs all make you like frown your face up. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's right. Got a real hip hop feel, boom, bat feel. I wanted to do that with that project, The Science. Then with the formula, like I just explained, I wanted to go in every direction with it, make bigger records, which would be considered like radio records to a person right. that's a machine. I wanted to do that with the formula. And then with the wise man, I wanted to go deeper, drop a lot of Jews, not do it in a normal way where you was trying to make the radio or be in the clubs. It's just um, just creative ideas and just creative ways of going about hip hop. So that's the Ooh. reason three different um, projects like that to bring people three different fields and to show the fans that depending on the type of person you is, what you've been through and what you experience, uh, determine what you like better. So some people might love the science because it's hard. Right. They're like, that's how I want you spitting. Some people might like the formula because when they hear it, they hear big records and they're like, yo, this is what you need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? To get you lit again. And then some people love the wise man, deep records. The Jews that I'm dropping and the information I'm passing off is, is, not, is not like no other MC right now. Like nobody right. else is going in these directions. So, um, of course, there's a bunch of people that might not like it, but what yeah. about people that don't like everything that's out already and looking for something different? Those is the people that um, I'm looking to attract, and those are the people that's attracted to the music I'm dropping. So that's why I did it like that. With that being said, we're going to get into, I, you know, and I usually like to bounce around, but this, oh, man, the four elements? For sure. Let's get into it, please. Um. The four elements. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gonna play the song. Oh, we gonna man. listen to what he's saying, y'all. Please. Yeah. Woo! 
It's all about hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop a culture that most people want to be in. Middle Eastern, Asian, African, European. I'm a boy that's intelligent, but know the four elements. DJ and dance, graffiti and MCing. But I've been seeing a lot of people that's uninformed and need to be enlightened like a thunderstorm. Cause hip hop run the storm and they change shit. First song they came with was Sugar Hill Gang shit. They got the game lit, but that group had a ghostwriter back then and nowadays it's the same shit. A hip hop. A hipper to the hipper, the movie, cinema. Y'all could remember the song. It was 10 minutes long when they spit it. But bars is my signature. Let's break down the literature. It was unique on beat the head cat's rhyme. It was cool to use one syllable at that time. Throwback rhyme. Yo, I'm not sweet. The nipper sucker crossed me. He a be six feet. Pete, sweet beat, one syllable. Spit that shit now when that shit sound pitiful. Cause in the early 80s and some riddles I heard The best rapper started rhyming two syllable words Like I'm the king of rock There is none higher Sucker MCs should call me sire Higher, sire See I'm not a liar Ain't that two syllables? I'm trying to paint a vision In Adidas attire, they were spitting fire For you to be original, what the fans require the lyricist, the only niggas I admire Hearing dope lines, the only time I get inspired And the subject that I'm addressing is a blessing I spit scripture, these niggas singing to the choir And prior, the niggas desire to want to be whack I tried to hold it down and they tried to hold me back We strapped, all the guns firing that we packed We clapped the stick, it be barking like tree set I felt like a gangster when I heard ice tea rap Hand rock, Kim and G rap, what made me rap I felt happy to be black when Chuck D rap, hearing little finesse punchlines, what made me snap? Kid and play, they made movies. I got to see that. Fresh Prince had a sitcom, that's TV rap. The fat boys jump rocking that heavy D cat was the first dudes that made it cool to be fat. Melly Mel was the first to talk street rap. And Kumo D had balls, he used to eat cats. KRS was the one who used to teach cats. Kane name was verified, but he couldn't tweet that. The ghetto boys showed us how niggas in the street act. Trap Call Quest had a different way of unique rap. Each rap I heard from Slick Rick was slick shit. Chris Cross showed me that young niggas could get rich. LL showed me that you could rap and get chicks. And Pac showed me that anybody could get this. Roxanne, Shantae, Salt and Pepper, MC Light, and Queen Latifah just a list of sick chicks. But shit switch, now it's a bunch of dipshits that don't know their history. So it's not a mystery that some critics be dissing me. But first do your research or your opinion don't mean shit to me. Yo, realistically, too loud crew went to court and fought so that artists can talk explicitly. And all this was before 9-6. Cause around that time, I started seeing shit differently. Cause all the artists started to advance quickly. But I ain't think that they could think quick as me. No, so that was around the time when I picked the pin up And they since then a nigga been up I'm a star, since I'm in love with hip-hop I got my chin up Cause ain't no telling where I'm gonna end up It's time for ball hey, Yo, hold up, Cass Cass, whoa, yeah. stop the press I need y'all to get this album right now The Wise Man, it's a beautiful Detailed, substance-based Album, substance based. Now, yo, Cass. Thank you. You're welcome, man. You said a lot, right? I first and foremost, how long did it take you to put this song together? Um, once I thought of the idea, it just started coming to me, man. You know what I mean, like, it was easy. I had a, I had a story to follow. I mean, that's the story of my life, so it was easy to write it. All I had to do was just make it rhyme. Now, with that, you know, I, I love the fact that you pay homage, right? How hard was that to pay homage? Because you know sometimes, you know, people, not even artists, I won't even put it just on artists, right? They sure. they, they forget. They don't like to pay homage. They, you know, they, they moving forward. Nah, I'm not going. It takes a lot. How hard was that, or was it an easy process? Um, a lot of people forget, and a lot of people just don't do their research. You know what I mean? We got a, young, a lot of young people that 
was just born in the time after certain lyricists and MCs that paved the way did they think. Right. And a lot of people don't love hip hop or love the culture enough to do research. Just right. like some things that I don't love enough to do research in. Like, I don't know about hockey players. Like, I'm not a fan of hockey. Right. I couldn't name maybe <laughs> on Wayne Gretzky. I know people had a lot of rap bars about him. But I don't even know if he play no more. He probably retired old. You know what I'm saying? I don't know no new hockey players. I right. About the history, where it started, none of the rules. I couldn't tell you nothing. So, you know what I mean? And even if the day of tomorrow I decided to start watching, I still wouldn't know the history. I still would have right, a Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people is like those type of fans. They ride the wave fans. Like, oh, you got a hockey ticket, I'll go. But I'm not really a fan. Oh, it's on the radio, I'll listen. It's in the club, it's a dance, right. too. I'll learn it. But I'm not really a fan like that. So they don't feel like they need to do their history and their research. You know what I'm saying? But now with the technology we got with the internet, it's a lot easier to get information. Before, you used to have to be around the hip-hop historian, that, that new information to pass it off to you. Now it's a lot of stuff that you could Google and look up. You could do your research. You could go on YouTube and look at videos that was before your time, if you was born after if that. You, right. And, and if, if you really want to. But I think a big thing is understanding the science and the evolution of hip-hop. See, um, a lot of people might hear some of these dudes that came before them and might not understand the reason why it sound like that. So right. they might hear a different beat per minute than what they used to. They might hear a boom bap type of beat and the way that they rapping, the amount of syllables that they using. They not used to that. So when they hear it, they just like, oh, I don't like right. it. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, just like sometimes I try to show my sons old movies or old cartoons that I grew up on when I was a kid. And the message was so strong and it, it might have changed my life. So I try to show them. But just because the movie's so old, just the way the camera look, just the way the it's not even 1080, it's like it's like it's not even 4K. It's like right, it's, right. It look, it look old. So they don't even want to get into the message. They don't even want to take it in. It's just too far back. And um as I grew, I started doing a little more history, but I was even like that when I was young. Like I would go back, but only to a certain period. Like I might go back to the 70s and you know what I'm saying maybe the 60s, but I wasn't going back to like the 40s, the 30s, the 20s, you know what I'm saying? Like the 1800s. I wasn't doing all of that research back are with you, music. You know what I'm saying? Karen, that are you doing a video for this? For sure. What is the response on this song right now? And another reason why I love this song so much is because I produced it. So I was my actor. The idea, the beat, the bars, everything is just a hundred percent in my mind is something I thought of and put it together. So that's Woo! why that even more when people hear it and they appreciate it, it means a lot to me. What was your best line on this on this song? Um, wow, that's I don't know. I I, I don't know. You, you know said so I, much, bro. You said to, so much. The time and all of them, I, I I was dropping a lot of Jews and different type of Jews, naming different people that played a different part. So I couldn't really say what's the dopest ones, but there's a lot of dope ones in there, though. Right. With that being said, we're going to move forward, right? But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You 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 spoke of a, a, a host of different artists, right, from different eras, different states. In Philly, who was that old school legendary artist that inspired you? Uh, uh, like Schooly D, Cool C, Steady, Woo! EST, um, The Roots, um, Bahamadia. Mm. Um, uh, major figures, state property. Woo! Woo! Then, like, not just rappers, like Patti LaBelle. Um, right, right. 
start, he was the lead singer of the Delphonics, legendary singing group from Philly. He was one of my first managers. So he was a big inspiration. Um, one of my mom's best friends was um, like the band coordinator for the stylistics. So wow. they took on tour when I was like real young with them. And I got to see them perform. I was on the tour bus with them and all that. So they was inspiration. But in Philly, is a lot of culture, a lot of hunger. Right. Inspiration. It just depends on what you want to do, where you find it at. Say less. Appreciate that. With that being said, man, I'm a this right here, man, this lean on me. For sure. This is my joint, too. Let's go. Classic. Lean on me, y'all. Sometimes it gets hard when it gets dark. I always follow. My circle of particular circumference I'm physically and mentally Depending on a particular substance And that's the definition of addict I got a habit I'd rather try to learn how to swag it than rehab it Some guys gonna just get high Till they see caskets If shit get in their way and they hide They can see past it The gases and cigars, large rosé glasses But cast is not going to no double A classes I does me Cause I know a nigga drug free Still addicted the tricking bitches and gripping asses I'm twisting gas, just can't stop geeking Just like a man that's obese and can't stop eating It's some addicts that's posting pics and can't stop tweeting It's some priests that's molesting kids and can't stop preaching It's some cats that battle rap and can't stop reaching But the science what I can't stop teaching And so, we can always focus on the more Always lacking and you need the ball I can be the one that you call on. Lean on me, yeah. yeah. Devil on the shoulder, he a liar. Breathing on my neck is getting high. But together we can make it through the fire. I I'm trying to chill on the pills, but I still kind of take a lot. For years, drunk beer, champagne, and was taking shots. Taking pot, taking backwards to the face a lot. Buzz strong as hell, I can't tell if it's laced or not. Get high off the fumes, mushrooms, get ate a lot. Looking in the mirror, can't tell if it's my face or not. I whipped it up and made a lot, had the fiends on me. Cause I got some green on me, some nicotine, and some lean on me. So if you feeling like a fiend, you can lean on me Even if the trolls start posting up memes on me They seem corny And yeah, some chicks lick comatose And some chicks addicted to dick and bout the overdose And most of folks posting jokes trying to criticize See a reflection of they self in the nigga eyes Sometimes a little truth can expose the biggest lies I think big regardless of a nigga size And so Woo! Yo, Cass, if I move and I'm only playing Kid bits of it, you know I'm trying to get some songs out. Nah, this man. year, I heard uh, uh, a myriad of things, man, but what I did come up with uh, was addiction, right? Sure. And, and and I heard, I like that you used analogies, man. You, when, you know, when we hear addiction, we automatically associate it with drugs. You know, you gave great analogies. Why this song? Um, It's already a classic, a song I've been in love with my whole life. Um, played a big part in my life. And I know now they use it in a lot of rehabs. Like a lot of uh, addicts uh, use the song, Lean On Me. They leaning on each other to keep, you know what I'm saying, each other moving in the right direction. They've been doing that for a minute. So um, with the time that we in with hip hop, it used to be about the hustlers at one point, but now it's about like the addicts, everybody promoting drugs and using drugs. And um. It's a reason behind that. It's a reason why in this time we end, people feel the need to use drugs. Or at any time when people was addicts, there was a reason behind that. So I just wanted to let people know that we all addicted to something. <clears throat> like it's a crazy world that we live in and you feel like you provided with certain things you need. But also it's a lot of things that you see that you don't got. So right. living with that every day um, make you have to rely on something. So everybody addicted to something, whether it's a certain drug, alcohol, whether it's food. Some people just addicted to eating or just drinking. Um, even if it's not alcohol, just regular drinks, they just addicted to that. Some people addicted to sex. Some people addicted to 
action, like violence, like fighting right. or stabbing. They just, you know what I mean? Is people addicted to all different type of things for different reasons. Right. So and not a, a weed head or alcoholic or a crackhead when you addicted to something too. <laughs> you know right. Saying? They just chose a different drug, but we all addicted to shit. So that's True the story. I'm do that record. Well put, man. With that being said, we gonna get into where the ball, where the balls go. How about that? Let's get it. Let's get it. Woo! 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 On guard, yo. Rappers ain't going hard, yo. They fraud, yo. Never coming with bars, yo. Where the bars go? Where the fuck did the bars go? Where the bars go? Where the fuck the bars go? That drip fake is our show. They keep a lease on the cars, yo. They all want to be stars, yo. But never coming with bars, though. Where the bars go? Where the fuck did the bars go? Where the bars go? Where the fuck the bars go? Today these boys rather get more likes than more nice. So what I'm steaming real sticky like Chinese store rice. All might take this full floor and take your life. All might open the window then throw you full flight. Oh, it's like you giving me nerves, but I got them nervous. Cause my watch busts down like a greyhound out of service. I seen a lot of murders. I could show you how to ratchet work. The ambulance and traffic first. Then you get that casket work. Goofy, but you usually feel good to laugh at first till they staple up your gut and they time you laugh it hurts i'd rather have a bag of work than have to take a cab to work i never had a job but still had to work when i grabbed the work i never grabbed the purse i had a skirt in my wardrobe the ball closed let you know how i go when the door closed yo the ball chose a different path than the rest took Look, I'm blessed just looking that text while my chef cook. My chick look thick as a textbook. Got my prep to I love the way I ass in a wrestler. Plus the wet puss incredible. I make edibles with the best kush. The recipe definitely won't get found in the chef book. You see the way the chain on my neck look? That forget look? I copied them rocking. I hustle like Russell Westbrook. Get your respect took. I get the green light. I mean, it's like you've seen life, but nobody showed you how death Look on God, yo. Rap. Who produced it? Crooklyn, Crooklyn. That's that's one of the major producers over at Mayhem Music Goat Gang. Um, he did most of the most of the records on on them projects. Why did you feel that you needed to title that and follow suit with the with the with the with the, with the music? That's what I'm curious about. Where did the bars go? <laughs> and I know there's a lot of other different types of music. But we got all of that. But where's the bars at? Where the music for the people that like to hear lyrics? So um, that's like an important part of hip hop. And you can never like get rid of that or say it's over or people don't want to hear bars no more. For a minute, they was trying to run with that. It's like, yo, it's over. It's a new wave, a new generation. I don't want to hear bars. And I'm like, nah, it's the same type of kids as when we was young. You know what I mean? The people that used to hear bars wanted back. And the kids that might have been born at a time when they ain't hair bars yet, once they do hair it, they going to love it just like we did. So right. bars go. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why I did that record. You don't think that there's uh, some artists out there that have have been giving them that? Oh, for sure. But... um. I'm just talking about what the attention on at the time, like what the machine. Yeah, right, right. I get it. All the people notice, like it's all different type of music all of the time. It's all the time music. So whatever type of music you like, you always got access to it. But people don't judge music like that. They just judge it by what's in your face. Um, huh. what Billboard, what's on Billboard charts, what is on the radio, what they playing in the club, what everybody like, who got the most followers. Like, that's how people could judge how hot music is because they don't necessarily know the science. Just like I explain hockey to you. Like, I will only know a hockey player if he's on something else, like another TV show, another type of commercial. If somebody talking to him for, about him for a different reason, then I might know right. about him. So that's how people look at rap. Like, that's why they want you to cross over so they can know you for a different reason other than rap. You know what I'm saying? And that's Great just Great analogy. How 
But at the same time, we love you hockey fans that know everything about every team, everybody, number of stats, been going to games their whole life and never going to stop. And it's going to be always real hip-hop fans. And those is the people that control the culture. The people that really are loyal hockey fans are the ones that control the culture, not the people like me that's not fans, don't got no information, and don't know nothing about it. No matter how loud I bark or say, hockey is trash. It's like my opinion don't matter. I don't even watch it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> right. that's the hockey fans. Just like what difference do it make to the real hip-hop heads, the real bar lyrical fans? What difference do it make what these other dudes are screaming out? They're not even really fans. They don't really know. They're not informed enough for us to care about their opinion. Right, right. Well put, well put. With that being said, we're going to get into bar after bar. Bar after bar. Let's go. Oh. Now, this. Tori up. Balls is back. You look like the type to lose your life trying to win the bet. If you lose your freedom, then your family begin to stress. Cause you in the prison calling them collect. It's not a great look when they see your face or the internet. Yeah, I've been a threat. And you can't slack intellect. Is the answer you feel incorrect or incorrect? Uh, time money, dummy. Try to make a minute stretch. I can't even stay a minute less than make a city check. I've been a sway, I've been a slay, I've been a flex. And then who cares what you did? My pen is blessed. Oh God, I've been a guest on the Breakfast Club. I pen the best bars y'all ever heard. Y'all been impressed. Yeah. If you a male, then defend your sex. A female should only wear a pair of tights and be in the dress. Yeah. Yeah. Your big ass will get punched and your jaw break fast because you're munching and I ain't ate dinner yet. I'm still trying to get a meal, trying to stack bread. I'm a, I'm a hustler, still getting that trap bread. When I give crack to the crackheads, they hit what I whip. Then it gets so up like a flatbed. I know that went over cats' heads like hats did. Shopping at lids, no cap. I want cats dead. I got a screw loose. I ain't never act scared. I stab you to death with a screwdriver flatbed. If you get shot and don't die, try to act dead. You pretend they might not shoot it again. If it's a body on the gun, I never use it again. I never think a fuck to sexually abuse it again. But talk slick like rip the ruler, I grip the they shoot up the lift for the Uber you in. Then do it again. I catch you in traffic, man. Pump the trick. Stay in your lane like a traffic jam for the ratchet man. I keep a thing to grip because my trigger finger itch. But when the shit claps, it'll kick back and scratch my hand. Damn. I got punches, but I'll smack a man. I'll press a nigga, address a nigga. Dab a damn. Yo. I did a show in Kazakhstan. Where? I'm internationally known. Homes ask the thing. In jail, I needed mass stamps till I had court. Came home and added mass stamps to my passport. Oh. It's still fuck with niggas think. What your ass store? The nigga think it's sweet, then that might be his last store. Yeah, I whipped the nigga ass that I last fought. I could probably keep it tall, even though I'm mad short. Sure. And you don't have half the gats that cast for. I'm a bad sport since I never lost your better off. Oh, oh, balls. Balls. Yeah. Producing, Taz. I did. Yeah, I produced Taz, that one. Taz, you wearing a lot of hats, beloved. For you sure. are wearing a lot of hats. For sure, I'm working, man. I'm working. Have you produced for anybody as of yet? Um, uh, some of my artists. I ain't, I ain't producing no records that's out, like, charting or nothing yet, but some of my artists new music that's about to come, I could do some of that. In regards to Mayhem Records, right? How uh, how many artists you have are uh, currently signed to you? Um, uh, six all together. Whoa! Whoa! Strategically, What's the game plan in regards to putting those six artists out? Uh, um, the game plan is just quality material and being consistent. And I mean, I'm just building up their work ethic to just be consistent. Take their career in their own hand. No publicity stunts. No, uh, no quick ways to success. Because oh. easy to lose that. 
I'm just trying to teach them the science so they really know how to make music. So no matter what condition they in, they could keep creating. Well put. Well so put. I'm pushing a lot of my artists so quick because um I still got old school tactics. I still make my artists go through artist development. Like you could meet an Ooh. artist super dope, but that don't necessarily mean that they ready for the world to hear them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. They might need certain adjustments and certain things that they could do that could make them way, way better, even though they might be hot now. But these machines don't care. They try to make money, so they push you out like you is. You know what I'm saying? And I got my artists developing, um, building up their work ethic and gathering up enough music and having a clip for it so when they come out, they could just keep shooting. Are they all from, your, are they all, are they all from Philly? Nah, they from all over the place. Nice. I got an artist from London. Wow. Wow. You know, you know, Cash, you said something that was uh, key, man. And, um, you know, throughout my years of being in the game, I've always advocated for artist development down to conducting interviews. There's no etiquette. For sure. The etiquette is so important, man. So for you to say artist development, that entails everything. Sure. I applaud you. And thank you for bringing that up, man. Yeah, and all of the other sports, they got these, um, they got these like athletes and stuff developing. That's why they're growing and maturing. And they used to do that in rap, but um, the budget slimmed down. Right. Opportunity slimmed down, so they stopped taking them chances. They're not willing to invest that amount of money into an artist to think that he might be the star. They not think right. that no more. So. That's what we got to deal with. You know, Cass, how important is remaining indie to you? Um, I just love the freedom. Um, that's what I think I hated about being with the machine. Everything is easier. Um, you got to worry about less. Like you said, I, I'm wearing a lot of different hats because I have to. And, um, and because I want to. Because I want to learn how to do all of these things just in case it's needed. And I don't got right. to do it. I want to be able to do it on my own. But when right. you're a machine, you don't really got to worry about nothing. All you got to do is just write raps and record, show up, do interviews. You don't really got to worry about all of the hard work. All of the business is just taken care of for you. So that's what's good about the machine. And they make you big. They use all of their um, relationships, all of their budgets, and things like that to make you huge quick. So um, you able to f feel all your success. At right. One. So that's what make artists think that they um so huge because you able to feel it all at once when you got a machine behind you is on the timeline. Right. And then it's hard to feel your love all at once because everybody is not informed about what you got going on all at the same time unless you put major money behind it to get everybody aware of it. Right. Um, everybody on a different timeline. Some of people might find out before you drop and be expecting it. Some people might not find out until the day you drop. Some people might not find out till a month later. Some right. people might not find out till a year or 10 years later. It's things that I dropped 10 years ago that fans DMing me now. Like, yo, I just heard this <laughs> went crazy. And it's like, yo, you, oh, I ain't even hear this whole mixtape or this whole album. Right. Something like, you know what I'm saying? And that's how it is. You just got to understand that everybody not on the same timeline. That's why you just got to keep creating. True story. With that being said, man, I'm going to get into the formula, right? And uh, I want to get into Rule the World. Can we get it? Can we go there? Yeah, classic, man. I love this song, Rule the World. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Uh. Classic. Mm. Y'all feel the vibes. Really on that beat. Oh, 
Feel is a show of the nights are cold down. Feeling like life is over. These snakes strike like a cold. We can rule the world, we can take it right over. We can rule the world, we can take it right over. They made the slaves and then the white soldiers. But it's time we behave like soldiers. We can rule the world, we can take it right over. We can rule the world, we can take it right over. Yo, so nothing in life come for free. You gotta work for what you wanna become to be. Bills still come monthly, you can't live comfortably working at somebody else's company. Weed was illegal to sell, and that's dumb to me, cause now all these dispensaries sell a bunch of trees. Nobody gotta buy lunch for me, I'm either in a Rover or the Rari, the motor with the trunk. No, everybody ain't as woke as they wanna be, cause when you sleep, you can see anything you wanna see. Dreams come true, I'm the truth, dreams come to me, we all take a pause, so I take it all humbly. Look, I look out for my dogs that run with me, cause I wanna do it, ain't nobody put a gun to me. No, I saw my dog get smoked right in front of me. He passed, so he had never passed another blunt to me. He's a show of the nights are cold. I'm feeling like life is over. These snakes strike like a cold. We can rule the world. We can take it right over. We can rule the world. We can take it right over. They made the slaves and then the white soldiers. But it's time we behave like soldiers. We can rule the world. We can take it right over. We can rule the world. We can take it right over. And chess, somebody gotta move first In order to rule the world, you gotta know the rules first Wait, the worst choice you can make, you might choose first And appreciate when you win, you gotta lose first Try to walk in men's shoes first Yeah, life fast, but don't get gas, you should cruise first And when I was dumb young, I got school first I wasn't dumb in school, but I got dumb school work I move work, though it's coming fast I will only come to class just to get some ass from the school nurse Before you hit chairs, you might get booed first Make bigger moves, you would get ridiculed first a black man can't rule earth until he own his own land and grow his own food first. And I'm bringing you the news first. You ain't in tune just cause you tune into the news first. Days to show the nights are cold. I'm feeling like life is over. These snakes strike. Woo! Inspiration. Tell me about the song. The story behind the song, Cass. Um, one of my favorite rappers, Nas Esco. And one of the legendary rappers that showed me love early on in my career, jumped on one of my projects, threw me on songs. So um, I was always a fan, and that's one of my favorite songs from him. And then Lauren Hill being on it. Right. Like classic. And I felt as though that's another song that this time that we in, um, people need to realize that they power and realize what if things was different, how would it be? And now... Mm -hmm. He got the power to make things different. So I just thought that song was um needed right now. And there's not too many dudes that could follow behind Nas and do a song like that because they're not lyrical enough. So um um I ain't want to disrespect the song because it's such a classic. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I tried to do the best that I could do to follow up, you know what I mean? But what Esco did. What was the response off of this thus far? People love it, man. They love it, man. And um they saying they thought nobody else would be able to pull that song off, but when you hear it, they love it. So I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with it. With that being said, I'm gonna get Brizzy on the beats, a producer from Philly did that beat too. Oh, my fault. And you know what? I was gonna inquire about that. My next joint off this joint is called number two. Can we go there? Let's get it. Number two. Let's go. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Years niggas been counting me out, man. They thought it was over for me. I heard haters telling me to give it up. Telling me I'm washed up. I'm old, it's over for me. I don't understand that. Because I'm the hottest nigga out. Boss is back. That's why I called this number two. Shit on the kid. It's hard out here. You starve out here. Hey, they say play the hand you was dealt with the deck, missing cards out here. Yeah, plus you've been locked up before, then you can't get a job out here. Facts, that's why niggas trap or pick up a gat and go rob out here. Yeah, rats, could get you three hots in the cock and shook down. This how quick sound. I'm a couple dog boss, I ain't gotta leave a hook down. Let's yeah. cook now. They locked R. Kelly up, that nigga book now. Yup, but underage chick trying to get in the industry, still getting took down. Woo. It ain't stopped. But the Me Too movie got dudes kind of shook now. Scared, yeah. You won't even hear Trump talking about grabbing a puss now. On us, they look down. And I beat the agenda that they trying to push now. Man, that's why I'm getting high. I got a glass in my hand and I can't put the cush down. I right, look now. 
can't push your age till I love you, till eight. But I feel real free. Listen, even if a nigga get it twisted, I'm still free. If you still date, it's hard to find a chick nowadays with a real face. Or some real shit. Or a chip with real tits and an ass that ain't real fake. We can't kill weight. Our race is supposed to feel safe with the cops around. Not pay property tax, but the cops on their back and they scared to get shot down. Woo! They need to stop now. I just a free country and we was on lockdown. It's all about the guap now. It's no more middle class. It's the bottom and top now. I know you forgot now, but you cry when you enter the earth on the first day. Because this Ooh. world crazy. But some girls having babies up here like a birthday. We're the third ladies. Girls gonna cry all around the world when it's first play. I'm a good guy. But I feel I'm at my best when I'm acting the worst way. Putting them work pay. So no days off. Every day is a work day. How much that work way? Boss is back with my hat and my shirt say. I'm back by the murk day. Best shit with my next shit. Don't expect no indirect shit. I'm a flipping disrespect shit. I address shit and don't hold back. You would just snitch. You a whole crap. Post me throwing this pole back. Cause I was told I look like a whole <sighs> snack. I sold crack, then sold records and pop shots. I was so reckless. Could have been locked in the ball and chain. Cause I was off the chain with no necklace. Yo, you don't get no guesses. You not sure? Keep your lips shut. This is off that project, y'all, for some of those individuals that's paying attention and listening, Number this two. is off the science. The formula. The formula. My apologies. Off the formula. Listen. Uh-oh. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, cats, if they cut us off, man, you know what I mean? We got a lot of and they just, they just, they just threatened me, man. You know what I mean? For yeah. playing a lot of the songs, man. But you know what? We gonna keep going. If they shut us down, I'm gonna say I appreciate you. For, for, for being who you are and, and, and blessing the world with music and, and, and just being uh, not one-dimensional, but playing a role and, and wearing those hats, man. You dig what I'm saying? Thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks, man. Yes, yes. So I, I'm going to keep going because I want to get I want to get one more last song off, man, off the science, man. I think I'm going to run with um, – I might run with Tough. 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 Cool. Come on, man. Smell what I'm cooking, baby. The science, y'all. So I need y'all to rock with me right now. Off that the pro- album that he currently... Huh? Off that the pro- album that he currently got out... I just okay, shot- my fault. Let's um, see. You said what? Out in- I just shot the record Different Frequency out in Miami off that project. Off the science? Yeah, different frequency. Hold up, hold up. We might have to go there. You know what? We going to go with different frequency since he just shot. Hold up. What made you go there as opposed to pushing your new project? They all knew, man. They all knew. <laughs> Yo, like, but. There was, no, there was no time. Like, I shot Lean on the, Leaning on the Lord, and that's on the Wise Man. I shot that already, and that was already out, so. Is um since all of the projects new, is um I'm bouncing around. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just, uh, different ones from from you know from different projects. You know, but Cash, let me let me state this. I was off the wise man too. It's a record on there featuring my artist Trophy Trophy Boy, and it's called. Fuck yeah, it you drill. You went. You went young boy style there. Yeah, we went to King um King of Diamonds out in Miami, and we shut it down. It's crazy. We did the video out there, so that's coming soon. Yeah, you you went drill on that there. For that sure. was pure drill music. Yeah, for Who sure. Who produced that? Um, Crooklyn. Crooklyn. I see where you're going with this, Crooklyn. You know what? We're going to get into different frequency. How about that, y'all? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> I keep the heat with me, a free chip you beat with me. So watch how you speak to me. I'm on a different frequency. Keep a freak with me that be on my meat when they meet with me and wish that they could sleep with me. I'm on a different frequency. I got the streets with me. I'm on a different frequency. I got the streets with me. I'm on a different frequency. At least had a decency to keep it on beat with me. The shit that get deep with me. I'm on a different frequency. Since a younger dude, I had a little freak in me. I come to school just to fuck the teachers that was teaching me. Never could behave in school, stayed in school briefly. Since 
I ain't help make the rules, I break the rules frequently. You dudes' frequency is nothing like our minds is. Fuck you and the rest of your mom, kid. Your mom is an old thot. Swallow the whole cock, no roadblock. I get a meal cooked on the stove top in a cold pot. Wait, haters really start hating when my clothes drop. Hoping I will open a clothes shop, then close shop. But my fans order from my store when they close shop. Niggas can't compete with me, I'm on a different frequency. I keep the heat with me, or reach it and beat with me. So watch how you speak to me, I'm on a different frequency. Keep a freak with me that be on my meat when they meetin' me. I wish that they could sleep with me, I'm on a different frequency. I got the streets with me, I'm on a different frequency. I got the streets with me, I'm on Get all three project, projects, as he stated, even though they may have been put out a couple of months ago, they all still knew. Now, 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 Cash, right? Before we breathe, right? Yes, sir. Strategically, you put out the first two, right? Up on the band camp. Was that to see how your following would take to you in, in regards to support? Um, no, nah, it was just a strategy from my team. Um, for your core, for your core audience, your loyal supporters to be able to support the music you make, and that's why we drop it on there first. Um, but um, it wasn't just it wasn't a C. I already know I got the support. I've been doing this for so long. I know my core audience support, and they need good music. So um, that's what the machines do. They go by statistics and test it out. I go by the culture, so I know what they need and what they want, and I already know how it's going to do. So um, I just utilize all of these platforms to be able to get my music out to the people. Right, right. I want to congratulate you on that, uh, that, uh, the, uh, the uh, rival situation, rival distribution. Uh, you know, I applaud you with that. Yeah, the team is behind me. Um, I'm excited. They've done a great job. And um, I'm playing my part. I'm seeing them billboards. I'm seeing them billboards in Cali and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, they everywhere. Philly, Jersey, they all over the place, man. So they um, they doing a great job. Um, I'm happy with them. There you go. Now let me ask you this: Besides your label, what other business ventures are you currently involved in, or will will like to get involved in too? Um. A bunch of stuff, man. A bunch of stuff. Everybody go to my webpage, CassidyTheHustler.com. Um, you know, I got the merchandise. I just wrote my first movie. So I'm hoping to shoot that this year. Um, I got a battle coming up April 3rd in Atlanta. Um, it's where RBE is against Hitman Holla. It's going to be a crazy event. It's going to be on pay-per-view. Um, we already... Um, May history, we was already trending the first time that they just announced one battle. And right. Trending. They didn't even announce the whole card, just us. And it's going crazy. The battle rap community is excited. I'm excited. Um, ARP, he is the person that run that league, RBE. Right. He's excited. Um, I see Hitman Holla is excited. All of the rest of the battle rappers that we got on the card is excited. So, um that's pretty much what I'm focusing focusing on right now. And that's coming up April 3rd. So that's the next thing that I'm doing. Okay. Um, All Star Weekend is coming up in Atlanta. I'm out here. So it's a lot of parties, a lot of events coming up this weekend. I'm doing a lot of running around and I got a lot of work to do. But the next real big event is um, April 3rd in ATL RBE. It's called Max Out. I salute you, beloved. I salute you. I thank you for rocking with us and walking with us, man, and, and, and introducing us to your world, man. Thanks for having me, man. Hopefully we can. No doubt, man. I, I would definitely look forward to that, man. You know, I know the team, man. So I'll reach out, man. Once again, for everybody that don't understand where he going with it, man, he's opening up doors. He has great projects out. Let me ask you this, man, on a closeout. I know that you got three projects out, right? And I say three, right? But I know that there's more coming, right? Sure. How long do you allow them to bubble before you start putting out other singles, videos, and everything else? Um, I just work at will. Whenever it comes to me, I'm constantly working. Um, right in front of me, I got books, papers. I'm always constantly working. And I got a lot more music that's unreleased. 
So um, I'm going to be dropping a, uh, another project soon, probably in the next couple of months. I've been Woo. doing so many projects so quick that I don't want to um, overwhelm the people. I want them to catch up a little bit. But um, I should be dropping the project soon, especially when it start warming up. Spring and summer come around, I'm going to have another project out there. Plus, I'm working on all of my artist projects, so I'm going to get some of those um, some of those projects out too this year. So I'm going to be featured on those projects, playing my part on those things too. And I'm working with a lot of other artists that's not even my artists. So I'm going to be um, putting in a lot of work this year. So it's, it's, bars is back. I'm going to be doing a lot this year. I see. I say, you know, and I said, and I told you that that was the last, right? But I want to, I want to, I want to get into the battle world, right? And regards, so, 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 Cash, one of the greatest things that you've done, right? You've managed to, right, transition, right, into becoming a pure artist, right? You sure. got with a great team. You got with you, you, you got with a a a great movement when you first got signed to a label, right? They help you formulate songs. Transition battle world, right? Sure. Who would you do a song with that you feel are not only great battle rappers but also great artists? Um, I'm willing to work with anybody that got a fan base, battle rapper or regular artist. But is there any battle rappers that you you feel that you would love to do a, a track with? Um. Any of them that I haven't worked with yet, they got a huge fan base. I don't got no picks. I mean, I'm not like a super fan of none of them where I'm like, yo, I would love to work with Because <laughs> I do music too, so I don't fan out over other artists like that. But I know what I'm capable of, and I know if they got a fan base, I could just figure out why and be able to get in the studio with them and make mu music that the people going to respect. And I, I did it with a lot of different artists, a lot of different people, a lot of different times, and it always worked. So I'm going to just keep going. <laughs> I, yo, I, I'm laughing because I see and I realize that even throughout the last few albums, right, You didn't. It, there was not a lot of features on there. For sure. Um, that's another machine trick. Um, a lot of features is um, the combined fan base. So if you got a certain fan base and you use a feature, then that's how you get more people familiar with you. Earlier I said, um, how I would learn about the hockey people is you got to do something different. So how they learn about certain artists is being featured with other artists that they familiar with. So that's how they try to get more fans. And it's a, it's a machine strategy. They not necessarily all working with each other because they fans or they love each other or they trying to make the best music. That really be like um, industry moves. They just combine fan base and it's easier to chart like that. It's easier to get um, radio play. It's just easier to do things. Anything that you need to do with a record, if it's two talented people on it, opposed to one. Right. Especially if y'all got two different budgets and two different types of support and they using both of the budgets and both of the support to support the record, then, you know what I mean? You got more help. Have a good night, beloved. I appreciate you, man. Well seasoned. Let's make it pop, man. I salute you. Peace. Stay safe. To the next time, bro. Have a good night, beloved. Peace. Peace.